Okay, so there's only a few people that know what this thing is, and they're older than me, but I remember it being used. And uh, it's Alice Chalmers Orange, okay? And it was set up for an Alice Chalmers tractor, but we ran it on the 4320. And my dad just torched the holes out enough to, to, to attach it to the front of the tractor. Uh, what this is, is the marker for a for an Alice Chalmers corn or bean planter. Uh, we had them both. One was a six row and the other one was a four row. Or maybe the one was an eight row and a four row. It might have been that the it might have been that the bean planter was a six. I can't remember. It could have been that it was a twelve and they were close together. I mean, I was a kid when that thing was here, but uh, it's gone. We replaced it with the grain drill and the 7,000 corn planter. So what you do is you would bolt this thing to the front of the tractor. And if you see here on the end, there's a, a jam nut or a bolt. And there was pipes that would slide inside of here. And what you would do is you would, you would plant a row of corn. Okay, and then you would measure away from the corn, uh, the, the row that you planted, and then you would put your corn planter on that row so that it was the right distance between the row that was planted and the row that you were planting. And then you would take that and loosen it up and slide the pipe out, and there was a chain that would drag down on the ground, or at least it would, maybe it wouldn't drag, but it was pretty close to the ground. I remember it dragging, but or being damn close to dragging. It used to hit the ground. So anyways, you run that chain over the row that was planted, and there was a chain on either side. So you would raise your corn planter up, you'd turn around, and then you would go back down, and that chain would line up with the row that you had just planted going the other way. And that's how you set the distance for your corn planter. And uh, I remember this being used Back in the 70s, um, I remember Dad planting over, well, it was over on Ridge Road. We called it the Widow Brown Place, and I still farm some of that ground today, but it's, uh, it's just a little bit different. Uh, different different type of planting now. We run off of a satellite uh, if we're going to plant corn there. And I'm not sure if I'm going to plant corn there this coming year or not. I may. I'm thinking about it. I'm not 100% sure, but it could happen. It could just happen. Right, Tim? So anyway, we're down two of the pallet racks are down and now we're going to have to, I'm going to have Joe and Tim work there and I'm going to go into this mess over here and see what needs to go. There's a bunch of old Alice Chalmers parts in there. I don't know if anybody has these old Alice Chalmers combo or yeah, corn planters and bean planters, but I know there's plates and things in there. And there's another one over there. I don't remember if I threw those out or not, but I think I might have threw those out. But there's parts and pieces in there that will need to go. Uh, I need to go through and if you've got an Alice Chalmers or something and you're you see something that you can use that I have uh, I'd be more than willing to ship it out to you you just got to pay for the shipping and maybe if you want to throw a few bucks extra in for it if it's something that you need but anyway oh my god here. it's getting better or is it getting worse I'm not sure I think we've taken the pallet racks down and found so much crap I mean so much crap you have no idea the stuff you got now I do have some things in here that I'm going to give a day or so, and uh, uh, yeah, one of them I just pulled off of here, and I'm not sure whether Mr. Bain Farm would be interested in these, but these are the small grain screens for a TR-70 combine. Uh, I use them for wheat and uh, rye. Don't run beans through them, it grinds them. <laughs> You'll know because I had personal experience. They're good for oats too, that's what they're for. And if you want some, just let me know. I'll throw them in a box and ship them out to Ohio. Uh, other than that, I think there's a couple of other pieces of New Holland uh, memorabilia around here. I don't know, whatever happened to those? There's a couple of things. We might have threw them on a scrap heap. They were unmentionables or unknown, unknown pieces. And why the hell do you look like a ghost? I bet if you stood up and run, you'd look like uh, Indiana Jones when he's running out of the face of that cave. <laughs> right? Look at that. Go ahead, pat yourself. You don't have to run. <laughs> look at this. So I was taking the thing off the top of that pallet rack there that I'm about to disassemble right now, and dust came barreling down over top of them. 
So it may look like it's way worse than what it was before, but we have gotten rid of a dumpster. Full. I got a 20-yard dumpster out there that is just full of crap. Um, we're saving the good stuff. This is these are Model T parts, and they have to find their way out of here yet today. There's parts for the corn planter. Uh, I see that that box is no good here. This box is junk. Uh, these boxes may all be junk for all I know. Even the lid is no good. Um, I don't know why I put them up. To, yeah, they're all junk. These boxes are all junk, Joe. They can get squashed and thrown away. But, uh, I got NutriGuard bale wrap that, I don't know, anybody that wraps hay, you know, maybe even Bain Farm would use that. I don't know if they wrap hay or not. I haven't seen them do that. Oh, uh, there's screens for, I think that's for the TR-96, so that's a little different. I threw the screens out for the TR-70. We didn't need that. Um, but, yeah, so this is the remnants of this. It actually looks way worse on camera than what it does in person, you know. So, oh, Tim's stuff there. So, I'm going to pop that off there and that there, and then I'm going to start here, and then I'll remove these racks, and then I've got that stuff there. i got a grain dryer tube there, and a couple of tarps and stuff there. That shit's all going in the, in the dumpster. Horse collars go in my sister's barn. Um, for later on there's some other horse stuff there but just a lot of crap that needs to go and then I move on to the next level of insanity and then the next level of insanity and this will all be cleaned out and it should look pretty sharp when we're done so uh, I'm thinking I'll have at least one more day of cleanup in here I'm thinking at least one more day uh, then we're gonna start to build right? right yeah build so anyway I'll update okay, you. Okay, so I guess I, uh, yeah, I guess I didn't find any Alice Chalmers parts. Uh, there just wasn't any there. I, I don't know what happened to them all. I had all kinds of plates and uh, other bits and pieces, orange gears, you know. Those old, those old uh, corn planters had uh, big, like, I don't know what number links, uh, link belt type links. Um, that were with in there and I don't even know whatever happened to all that stuff because you used to change the gearing to set your population your plant population with those uh, I don't remember much of them I just remember my I, I remember my grandfather see my grandfather died when I was nine years old and I remember when the new John Deere corn planter and the new John Deere grain drill came uh, one was an 8100 and the uh, 7000 bought them both at the same time and uh, they were there. Now, yeah, but those Alice Chalmers uh, pieces of equipment, they went over to Flemington. There was a company over there called Psalms. Uh, Joseph, uh, Joseph Psalms and Sons, I think. Uh, Psalms are still around, but they don't have the uh, dealership anymore. Uh, one of the Psalms is still sells uh, hay racks and, and wa hay wagons, which I've never bought anything off of them. Uh, I'd like to know, remember what his name was, uh, first name was, anyway. But I remember when I was a kid, because we bought the New Holland TR-70 from Psalms back, geez, back in 76 or 77. It had to be 1977. So, uh, I bought a TR-70 back in 2000 out in Iowa. It was a really beautiful machine, and I, I bought it there. It was pretty good. Uh, we used it, and uh, up until the... Uh, I don't know, the engine had problems. I think it was a fuel injection issue. And I actually sold that TR-70, and I never heard back whether they got that engine running correctly or not. I'm pretty sure it was just a, an injector. Hmm. Anyway, oh, I went from being a fuel sipper to a fuel hog and just missing and doing all kinds of weird shit. And that's why I bought the uh, TR-96. So, and that's been, geez, I think I bought that 10, 11 years ago already. It's been a while ago. My dad was in a sling. He had just had an operation. And so that would have been in the fall of 2008. And boy, that would have been a YouTube video. Holy smokes. I drove that thing 62 miles from Tamaqua back to the farm. And uh, I was on Route 22 when the police pulled me over. They didn't like me there. I guess they felt that 16 mile an hour down the shoulder of Route 22 was too fucking slow. But uh, anyway, uh, as far as this cleaning job is going, we are finding all, si all kinds of stuff from uh, disc harrow parts to uh, parts that I'll never use again. So the stuff that I'm never going to use again is getting heave-hoed onto, uh, onto the scrap truck 
Uh, I'm going to keep those screens in case uh, Jacob from Bame Farm wants them, or even the guys that bought my combine. I think I gave him those screens. I know I did give him the set of screens for the for the newer TR70, but the older TR70, I, I still had those, and that's what's in the shop there. Uh, so maybe if Jacob wants to come out and get those, or maybe I'll ship them out to him. I don't know. Maybe he already has a set. doesn't matter. Uh, I've even got the little pins that go in, but I think they... No, I think they're the same as what goes in my TR-96. I actually have to go pull the screens out of that thing and take a look at it to see if those screens are, or those little, uh, the wires that go in for small grain, which I don't know that I even would need them. I'm not, I don't have any ambitions of growing wheat again, um, but you never know. You know, you never know. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, you're going to see the rebuild series start here, not today. Excuse me, I just drank coffee. Uh, today, not today. No, I don't have heartburn. It's gas coming up. And uh, But anyways, I know there's a lot of guys who are like, Oh my God, you got acid reflux. You're going to die. Uh, no, I'm not going to die today. You can see my eyes are red like I'm high as a kite. I'm not. It was from the dust. Um, uh, there's just so much dust in this freaking building. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. You saw Joseph in there, and that was just... Uh, you can look at me in the in the, in the videos uh, that I'm covered in dust. You know, it's crazy how much dust and dirt are in here. Uh, but yeah, so we're just getting everything everything straightened up, and uh, you're gonna see a real nice uh, shelving area get put in. Uh, I'm gonna pull the sawmill out and uh, saw lumber and Gmail. Uh, let's pull the sawmill out and saw up some lumber and get this thing um, built so that it looks actually kind of nice. You kind of want it to look kind of nice, you know. I do anyway. I want it to look nice enough that uh, it'll be uh, functional. I can pull my cars in there along the edge of that, you know, and have a, just a little bit more room because it's just such a cluttered up mess there. I have an oil station there, so where the oil is, uh, where we need to take the oil drums from, that can go in the in the uh, corner there. I'm going to move over back to pumps instead of gravity. I think pumps are better. I'm possibly going to buy some electric pumps that meter out uh, gallons instead of just hand cranking and saying, oh, shit, you know, and the oil comes spilling out over the top. It just oil has gotten to the point where it's so incredibly expensive. A drop spilled is a dollar lost, you know, so that's just the uh, that's just the way it is. So, transformation of the shop. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe for more. And, uh, yes, the camera will go up again today. And we are going to be organizing more and more stuff. Uh, and cutting up some more scrap. And just, you know, moving the shit that needs to be moved. So, here we go.